Hey what's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I want to show you how to make this um, 3D scan line-ish effect. As you can see, if I zoom in a bit, you can see the wireframe of it. It looks very nice and there's like even shine and stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna use After Effects and Cinema 4D and of course you will need some plugins but I will tell you which plugins you'll need um, during the video. I didn't really plan this video so it might be a little bit bumpy and unorganized but I'll try to do my best. I'm gonna start off in Cinema 4D and you want to drag in your AI file of the logo. Make sure it's an Illustrator 8 files like an older version, but I think it's the only version that's compatible with Cinema 4D So make sure it's an Illustrator 8 file right now You just want to take all of these pads out of the group and you want to create some extrude things Just copy them and paste them a few times until you have enough for each pad Then you want to drag each pad to a separate extrude thing Okay, so once you're done with that you basically have your 3d logo ready You want to select each extrude thing by just holding ctrl and clicking on each of them Then you want to go to caps and set them all to fillet cap and just just set this one to fill a gap as well maybe like um we're gonna change the border a bit let's put it at like one and a half centimeters and um we're gonna set this to 25 steps so it's a bit more smooth we're gonna go to object and of course increase the depth a bit until it looks good um i think i'm gonna put mine at 80 then last thing this is a problem for uh, element 3d and after effects for some reason uh, it always glitches with some fill gaps or something so you want to set all the types uh, instead of angons you want to set it to quadrangles or quadrangles not sure how to pronounce it but as you can see there's no difference but it will help when exporting the file there you want to go to file export and you want to export it as an obj file of course export it in the right directory so i'm gonna call my horizon 3d logo and we're gonna click save then we're gonna head over to after effects and i'm gonna create a new project for now right here we're gonna click on new composition of course make a new composition just 920 by 1080p uh, 30 frame rate that looks best probably so what we're gonna start with is a new layer and we're gonna click on solid uh, doesn't really matter I'm just gonna turn mine black and we're gonna type in element element 3d of course just drag it on there and go to scene setup in your scene editor you want to click on import and import your obj logo just click on ok ignore all of that and as you can see here you have your 3d logo you want to go to presets and just go to the materials physical and just drag the gold one on there probably or whichever you want you can also use chrome but i like my gold also i'm gonna change my environment you can do this if you want but i like uh, to change up my environment and go to this one where is it I think it's this one and i always like to increase the contrast a little bit let's put it like 15 and go to the front and of course you want this all to be bright and not too many shadow parts so we're gonna mess with the offset a little bit until we're happy with um what position we have i like what i have right now so we're gonna click on ok and of course we're gonna click on ok again as you can see our logo is way too big for the scene so we're gonna click to on word transform and we're gonna decrease the world scale and put it at like 0.6 or something now nah, even lower the 0.3 there we go i'm gonna go to five seconds because i want a five second loop and i'm gonna click on end so you can uh change the work area i'm gonna place a keyframe for world rotation at the y rotation and we're gonna go back here and uh press u to pop up all the keyframes and we're gonna click this one to place another keyframe i'm gonna set this one to one and as you can see it nicely rotates it's maybe a bit fast but you can change that afterwards and if you want a perfect loop i suggest that you go one frame before the end and then click on n again because this will um cut one frame forward until uh, the next frame so now it's a perfect loop otherwise there will be like one duplicate frame so of course it doesn't really look special and gold so we're gonna use s glow uh, from the sapphire plugin and we're gonna drag it on there i'm gonna turn the color to a bit like orange gold ish as you can see you can already see the nice gold i'm gonna put the width to 40 and um yeah that looks good we're gonna duplicate the effect and now we're gonna put the width at like 150 or something and maybe decrease the brightness a bit and this last thing i want to use shine is from the track coat suit uh, i'm gonna use the backing because there's weird bending or so i'm gonna just add a black solid underneath here there you go we're gonna mess around with the uh, settings of the shine um i'm gonna decrease my ray length to like two yeah well actually that looks pretty good i like it um there's nice reflection just mess around with these settings until you're happy with what I, what you have okay so after a little bit of fooling around i ended up with these settings you can copy these if you want uh, to reach like the exact same effect as me um put the brightness at 0 0.8 um threshold all the way down um treasure that like the half uh, just a half and brightness at one um of course you want always to expand the borders that's because sometimes it'll mess up with edges and of compositions just do that to make sure it won't uh, mess anything up 
and the shine at ray length only a one as you can see this looks pretty good so far um, one thing that i want to do is as you can see there's like weird edges um you can fix that by uh, changing the render output settings and we're gonna click on output and we're gonna change the super sampling to eight there we go you can also click on enhanced multi sampling this will look better as well as you can see it looks really nice so far i'm gonna turn the layer off and we're gonna create a new solid to work on the wireframe for this i'm gonna use strap code form just drag it on there and for this you want to press ctrl i and import your uh, 3d logo file i'm importing my obj and just drag it on there you can make it invisible so it doesn't mess up anything you want to go to the uh, form settings and in base form you want to click on obj settings and um you want to change the base form to obj model and as you can see we'll let it load in for a second um oh wait we gotta set the source of the model to the obj file of course and there you go here you have your um wireframe so what you want to do now is you want to go to particle master and you want to decrease the size to one that looks better you know what i'm gonna decrease mine even more to like a half so right now you want to place more keyframes for the y rotation place one here and go to five seconds and place another one and just change this to one so it rotates once as you can see there's rotation but it's got a render so it's a bit slow right now i'm going to decrease my pixel density to only 50 when i turn both layers on this one is a little bit smaller so we can just uh, increase the size to like 550 okay so for me 640 works best and it lines up perfectly with the edges so the next step is to set the blending mode to overlay and as you can see you have these nice glowing edges but it still can look much better if you one i'm gonna decrease my opacity to like um 50 i'm gonna add a fill to my uh wireframe i'm gonna select like a little gold color there we go um then i'm going to copy these glow settings and paste them on there as well it's just a tiny glow that looks good so yeah i just ran previewed my uh project and as you can see it looks really good i'm really happy with the result um be sure to show me your results with uh whatever you make with your logo with someone else's logo or an intro with this style i don't know i want to thank all of you for almost like four 400 subscribers is super close i think i need like 10 more or something so i want to say thank you for that and um yeah i hope all of you guys uh enjoy the video and be sure to like subscribe all of that stuff you, you know what to do i will see you in the next video so yeah bye everyone